Shalom, shalom, family. A very good morning to you. It's your boy Kweku Efriye. I hope we are all doing wonderful today. Uh, please allow me this quick one. Um, I posted something on my Facebook timeline this morning, a quote that says that um, truth is always not respective of physical evidence. Why? Because truth is a spirit. And it's a spirit that dwells in each and every one of us. The only thing that is preventing truth from coming out is our ignorance. And I, I, I just want to expand on, on, on that um, for our understanding. The reason why I'm saying this is, if we go into scripture, we know that in the beginning was the word of truth. And um, nothing was made that is made without the word of truth. So that clearly is to show us that before the physical reality or the physical realms or what we have come to see as the physical world came to be, the truth was there. Therefore, truth is not always evidential physically. Truth is not always what evidential physically. And I know how important it is that we use evidence, physical evidence, to substantiate the truth of, of, of a matter or the truth of things. But more often than not, we need to understand that ultimately truth is a spirit and spirits we do not see. And so we have to um, refrain from always depending on physical evidence before we believe things. And the reason why I'm saying that is oftentimes people that are asking for physical evidence knows the truth. They know deep inside of them what is true and what is untrue. But they have put everything down on physical evidence to prove or to justify what we claim to be true. Brothers and sisters, you see, the powers that be are so powerful in manipulating physical evidence. If they can manipulate even the weather we live under, what makes you think that they won't manipulate everything that is surrounding you for you to believe in a lie or reject the truth? So always, whatever you hear, whatever you see, this is why we are supposed to meditate all the time. We are supposed to connect with our DNA, in other words, our soul, to decode vital information that will allow us or help us make certain vital decisions in our lives. Let me use this as an example. How many times have you had dreams concerning the future that actually came to pass? It's happened to all of us. I, I, I have so many dreams. Even there was a time I was having a dream about some friends of mine that were talking about me. In the dream, I was there, but they didn't see me. They, they, they seemed not to see me. I was there all right, and they should see me, but they, they were not able to see me, and I was hearing everything they were saying. And so, in reality, I put it before them. And told them that I saw this and I heard you say these things and that uh, and those things and they were shocked how I managed to know what they were talking about but then if 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 you are to ask me for physical evidence there is no physical evidence there but when we are able to connect into our DNA or into our our soul there we will be able to decode so much information that will help us avoid or escape certain dangers. So truth is, not, is always not respective of physical evidence. And I really want you to bear that in mind. The point is, when all the voices become sharp, when you take away all the hype, when you take away the music and the voices of your pastors and the voices of, of, of the experts, what, what, what are you hearing from your soul? That is where the truth lies. 
everything we hear outside of us must confirm the truth that is within us. If you are hearing something outside of you, that does not confirm with your own life experiences and your own uh, uh, um, um, truth. You see, we came out of a whole line of ancestors. All that they went through has been, has been, has been written in our DNA. And it's all left for us to decode all that information. Plus, the, the experiences we have in this life ourselves. Everything is written in our DNA, or what most of you might call soul. And so, if we are able to connect through meditation, through fasting, if we are able to connect to this, this DNA, then we will be able to decode so much information that will help us escape certain things. There are certain entities in this world, they need us to be here. You remember when Yahushua met this demon and, 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 and was going to cast them back into, into Hades? You remember what they said? They were bargaining with him. They were begging him not to send them back. There are entities that don't want to go back where they came from. They need us to be here. And so they need us to, rem be, uh, they need us to remain ignorant. Hence, all the, the entertainment, all the chemicalizing of our food, all the poison of our air, so that they disconnect us. Our ability to decode information from our souls. We can go very deep into this topic, but I just thought I, I should um, just a little bit expand on what I posted. And so, Please take this on and look into it yourself. Sometimes it becomes so difficult for, for us to even have dreams. It got to a point I wasn't able to have dreams anymore. I was very, very active in, in dreams and powerful dreams I've received. Powerful, powerful dreams. In, in due time, I'll share so many dreams with you. Even where I am today, I saw it years back. I saw it years back. The journey that will bring me here today, I saw it years back. But if you were to ask me then, I don't have any physical evidence to show you. That does not mean that what I'm saying is not the truth. Deep down inside all of us, we know the truth. And it's about time we allow the truth to come out. It's about time we break the gaze of fear and ignorance. For the truth to come out okay so thank you for watching this and i hope you have a wonderful day today shalom